Hey everyone, Chef Derek Fox here and welcome to my Thor kitchen. Today we're doing a steak with mashed potatoes and a red wine sauce. With Valentine's Day right around the corner, I wanted to give you something easy but also sexy and romantic. So let's go. All right, so there's three components, steak, mashed potatoes, and red wine sauce. We're gonna start with the mashed potatoes. First, we're gonna peel our potatoes and put them in some cold water. The peeling potato dance. Let's give these potatoes a rinse because they're pretty dirty. Real quick, the pot that you're gonna be boiling the potatoes in, fill with cold water. Let's add a little salt to the stove. So the potatoes are in cold water and to get them to cook evenly, we're going to bring them up to a boil and then to a simmer and cook them for about 15 minutes until they're cooked all the way through. While the potatoes are boiling, now we're gonna do our cream and butter mixture to whip our potatoes. But we're gonna season it with some garlic shallots and thyme. A small saucepan, cream, shallots. When we're basting our steak, we're gonna use these same ingredients, so let's get our garlic ready. Take the clove, back of your knife, smash it, gets the peel right off. And it's also opened up the garlic, so it's gonna be nice and fragrant when the butter is basting through it. About a half a stick of butter. Now we're just gonna put this on the heat until the butter is fully melted, and then when we rice our potatoes and it's time to whisk in, it's ready. We're gonna work on the red wine sauce. I start with more than gourmet demi base. This is a really great way to get that classic French style red wine sauce without spending 15 hours making a demi glaze. So we're gonna put the red wine in the sauce pot and we're gonna reduce it by half before we add our demi glaze. Now we chill for a few minutes. All right, so our wine has reduced. Now we're gonna turn the heat down on that a little bit. A couple tablespoons of our demi glaze. This has all the flavor in it. And then to spice it up just a little bit, I'm gonna add some fresh cracked pepper. Also, <laughs> our potatoes have started boiling. So let's drop that to a simmer. Boom. You want your sauce to coat the back of the spoon. As soon as the potatoes are done, we're gonna strain them, rice them, and whip them. Okay, before we add the cream and butter mixture to the potatoes, we wanna remove the thyme and the garlic and shallots. Truffle whipped potatoes to be a beautiful bed for our steak and red wine sauce. Now, let's cook some steaks. From up high, bring everything over to the stove. When you are searing your steak, you're putting the steak in the pan away from you. So you don't splash oil on yourself. Once you drop your steaks in, you want to get a nice sear. Don't touch it for like a minute and a half, two minutes. It's a really nice crust. So we're going to do two minutes on each side. In between, we're going to baste with your butter, garlic, shallots, and thyme. Probably about two minutes in the oven. 
I'm gonna pull these steaks out of the oven and let them rest. I'm setting up the landing zone so that we can put it all on the plate, hot together, and you can serve it. So the classic white. I'm gonna start with the sauce on the plate. Nice little swoosh. Potatoes, some chives. Beautiful. Look at that. And now you can drizzle a little more sauce. We'll just do a full piece of steak right in the middle and then we'll drizzle red wine right over the top and then sprinkle with chives cool and there you have steak with mashed potatoes and a red wine sauce 